Hello, welcome to Culture and Identity. My name is Jennifer Jopute, and today I am very honored and privileged to introduce to you the one and only great man from the Mundari land. He is called Wanibuyu. He's the acting chairperson of the Mundari community. He's going to talk to us a lot about the Mundari people. Stay tuned and let's have it done. Hello, welcome to our program. I'm excited and delighted to have with me here today on uh, Culture and Identity a very, very, very uh, successful person in the country and uh, more especially in the Mundari community. And uh, he has done a lot. Uh, but today we are going to talk about basically the Mundari people. So welcome to the program Wani Buyu, the chairman of the Mundari community, the acting chairman of the Mundari community. Welcome to the program. Yeah, uh, I just want first of all to start with appreciation to be able to meet a culture trade, friend network group. I'm happy for this kind of program. Uh, before I proceed, I want to inform you about who I am. Yes. I'm called Wanibu Dieri. And actually, after my studies, my advanced studies, I completed my first degree in uh, Egypt the second degree in the United States. Then I started working in uh, 1979 in uh, regional government. And after the decentralization of South Sudan, I worked with Bahar, Gaza, uh, Bahar Jebel uh, State by then as an uh, assistant director, director, and then I progressed up to the director general in the state. Uh, and then the, the last job I did in Central Equatoria was in the Revenue Authority in Central Equatoria. Mm. And then in 2012, I was appointed as an Under Secretary for Planning in the uh, Ministry of Finance and Planning in the National Bank. Mm. I was there up to 2017 when I was in the Right now, I'm uh, in the office of the Vice President, James Waniga, as a consultant over there. And uh, that's where I was. But I've uh, actually been uh, working with the community since 1986 in the community, Mundari community. I've deputized uh, Kelman Wani Konga, Major General Kelman Wani Konga, mm -hmm. as a chairman of Mundari community. Um, he's supposed to be the one actually talking here, mm -hmm. but because his health is not okay, that's why I'm here talking maybe on his behalf. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm his deputy. Wow. That's yes. a lot of information. Definitely you have done so much to the country and your contribution is felt and seen all over. And like when I was uh, when I was doing a little bit of research about you last night and I spoke to my mother, just I just mentioned about the name and he's like, Yo, I know him. <laughs> so that means that you have really been doing your work and it has been noticed. Uh, but today we just wanted to know about the Mundari people. We thank you for your services to the country, but we want to know about the Mundari people. Who are the Mundari? Yeah, thank you. Uh, Mundari people are actually in Terkeka County. Terkeka, these people, we have about six sections in the Mundari community. This one, we have the, the Tale and the Tindilo in the western part, and then we have the Rego and region in the Central Mundari, and we have a group from Tateka up to Nyori. This we call them Baris. We call them Baris. And then, and Mangala people, we call them Baris because they speak basically the Bari language. The Nyangwara, the people we talk, call Nyangwara, they talk Nyangwara. And uh, people from Tali, they have their own accent, but they talk the same Mundari. Yes. And then we have the Kerbura from north of Tarkeka. 
they talk Kerbura, but as part of Eastern Bank, they talk Kerbura. And we have also people called Sarah. They are also in the Eastern and Western side of the Nile, and we have Bari. So these people all, um, they are all accent, but they understand each other. Mm -hmm. This is what Terkeka is made of, of these six sections. But uh, the language is understandable. Yeah, about. we do, we do yes. understand each other. Great, great. Basically, wow. we understand each other. Although there are different pronunciations in the yeah. country of Bari, you, you Bari community, you mm. will always say, this guy come from uh, Ojulu, yeah. you say, this guy is a Bari, and then so on, you go to the Kuku. Yeah. This is how we differ from each other, but we understand each other. Understand each other. Now, mm. Cherkeka is actually bothered by about eight communities. In the eastern side of Cherkeka, we are bordered by three people in the eastern equatory. And then the Murlis. They are the whole community in the eastern side. In the western side of the Nile, we are bordered by Aliyah, Oldeki State. And they are north west of uh, that in Tali, extreme Tali, we have got the, the Moru Jurbel, the Jurbel. And then we are also bordered by the Moro in the in, in, uh, sorry, Umbri. Mm. They are in central Equatoria, we are bordered by the Nyangwara. And then Bari in the western side here, and then the eastern side. We border each other. These are the communities, the Mondari people border. So we are actually a very big uh, yeah, indeed. Community. Yeah. That's what we are. This is a lot of good information, and I'm sure you are the right person that got the right questions. Wow. So, what are some of the economical activities done by the Mundari people? Well, uh, the Mundari basically they rear cattle, mm -hmm. they carry out fishing, trading with oil, trading with peanuts, beans, mm -hmm. millet. Sim Sim, uh, mahogany trees, we have the donuts, which are not anywhere, but we can find the donuts here in uh, Kondokoro. Yeah. And then we have uh, bamboos, mangoes also, and then sugar cane. That's why if you go to the side of Mangala, there was that project that was actually to be established for sugar cane, right from Mangala up to Jamaica and in the forestry also is there in a place called Mali. So that is some of the activities we carry as economical uh, activities. We rear also gold and uh, seeds. Wow. I can really testify to that because I have visited the Keka and uh, we ate a lot of fish, a lot, a lot of fish. And we, had, um, uh, we also had milk, rope. Those, yeah. those ones, these are really, really good things. And while you mentioned a lot of good, good people, uh, food that, uh, um, I mean, uh, produced of the Mundari people, but what are their favorite? Like, for example, that one food that in every Mundari function, it's there. Like, Mulan, Mufadal, Ayi Mahal, Yani, Kane, Nasrua, Wadnamich, the Mundari, Lazim, Lazim, Mukunfi. Which food is that? Well, uh, it depends. Uh, when we have an occasion, usually the meat that we cook, we we do what they call a uh, judge and moro 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 is actually basically in many cases we eat it, but uh, in many cases also the peanuts we we mix it with beans. This is. Uh, Peanuts. Yeah. We, we mix it with that, and then uh, also we have the, the maize, cassava, especially the western side of Mondari, mm -hmm. the millet, pumpkins. Also we have them. Yeah, yes. yeah we have them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so these are the kind of thing. And then milk. We cannot avoid milk, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we call uh, 
in wait. It's basically when you go there, it's there, and uh, you will not escape eating kimut or milk. Yeah, kimut. It's really because I, there is there's this certain type of uh, gene that is called kumundari. I don't know. It's it's basically the normal gene, but I don't know because well, they call it matelek. Ah, this we, we borrowed this one from uh, from the local yeah, this small one. Yes. So we cultivate them twice a year. Wow. So. But Bari Bari, we used to have it. Now we are not producing it that much. Bari Bari is there. This is the original peanuts uh, we have. Bari Bari. Bari Bari. But now we are producing this uh, material. The uh, cultivation. What are some of the 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 cultivation seasons? Cultivation season. We usually preparation starts in uh, February, clearing of the land. After March and then in April, we immediately start putting down the peanuts, the millet, and uh, we continue to use these old like, beans and uh, sorghum millet. And then we start from that time uh, until uh, June, we were almost, uh, we started weeding. And then uh, up to the end of uh, July, the first uh, produce come out, we start uh, harvesting, mm. and then by the end of the beginning of uh, August like this, now we are putting the second season yes. in the second crops. So this is what uh, we are doing, and we continue like this up to the end of uh, October, where we will have the, the final uh, harvest. Wow, those are really, really uh, very good information that we are getting here from our father, Wani Buyu. Uh, we will go for a short break, but guess what? When we are back, we are going to know a lot about the Mundari people, still here on Culture Chain Network. Stay tuned. Welcome back from this short break. Like I mentioned before, we still have more questions and very, very, very good questions for our father here with us. And um, we want to know, what are some of the cultural festivals celebrated in the Mundari land? If we look about uh, the aspect of celebration or even mourning, what are some of the festivals? Uh, we have uh, several uh, cultural festivals, uh, especially the one which are actually well known at the end of the year, usually, and the beginning of the year. We always have a dance when we celebrate. We have a dance called Pirie. Pirie is a, a dance which is actually played almost for seven days. Once we want to play this period with a special occasion, for instance, we want to celebrate Christmas, mm -hmm. or we want there are youth initiatives, when they want to organize this, a particular village, this one is pronounced all over the dance, the, the drum will be beaten in the morning and at night mm -hmm. to inform the rest of the communities that there is going to be this kind of celebration mm. at the end of the year. And uh, there, when it comes the day, the people, the owners, the people who started the, the, the celebration, they will dance it overnight. Mm. And then the next people come and take over. And the rest also go all like this, almost for seven days. 
and uh, you find out that the entire village, they have organized themselves in such a way they made a lot of beer. Mm. All about every family yeah. is beer. And you have uh, attracted some friends, relatives, in-laws. The time you, you invite them and you slaughter them, mm. ram, things of the kind. Mm. These are the festivals that we celebrate annually. Mm. Uh, religious uh, festivals like Christmas, Easter. Mm. So we, we always do that. Wow. Wow, this is really great. And we pray, play this one in particular period is is the one which is actually played. It is not yeah. it is not normal to have the, the done free. Free is once done in a particular season. But but tolo is a normal thing when the community want to. So there is period, there is tolo. The tolo. There are a number of uh, dances. Period, tolo. We have diki, we have gwele, mm -hmm. we have uh, a number of things, yeah. a number of dances. Wow. Great. So that is what we. Now we we want to move a little bit from the festivals. Under that, we want to know how. Mundari conduct their, their naming ceremonies. In every culture, there is a way they celebrate a new uh, child in the family. Mm -hmm. What is the way that a newborn baby is welcome in the family, in the Mundari land? Mm. Yeah, as I told you, we have uh, several sections. Mm -hmm. We have about six of us. Yeah. And then it differs from one point to another. Yes. But uh, they are almost preparing the same uh, activities in that particular time. Yeah. For instance, if you come to where I come from, once a child is a, a child is born, the two families mm -hmm. from the uncles and from the husband, they all come. The women, this is an occasion for women in particular, mm -hmm. no any other person. They come and each section gives name. They give name. The firstborn, there is a name for the firstborn from each of the communities. Wow. First, but each one of them. Have, have a, like a different. The, this different. one is that. Uh -huh. And for, the, for us, the first, and the delivery for a girl to deliver for the first, for the first she must be there with her mother. She will be delivering this one in her mother's house. The first. But in part of the communities, like I say in Western uh, Mundari in Tali, mm. she can deliver in her house, in her husband's house. Mm. There, the basic food, they prepare the first thing for this naming, mm. we have the, the beans, and then we have the, the shogam. Mm. They are mixed together with uh, peanut. Yeah. That is the, the main food that must be done. During, the During that occasion. Mm. And then now the child is brought down, there is an ointment with oil, it's mead, oil. On the, on the baby or on the Yeah, mother? on the baby okay. and the mother as well. As well. Okay. So they are now done that. Mm. And so each group gives name. So who, who does the, 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 the oil? Like, is there a specific person that the, applies yeah, the oil? Yeah, there is, there is a woman mm. selected naming the children of this particular woman. Mm. For instance, my wife, there might be somebody from the same uh, community yeah. that should be naming my children throughout. Wow. Once my wife gives birth, that some, same woman come and okay. name. Yes. If she's upset, there is somebody next to her. Appointed and, one. <laughs> yeah, she will have to, to do that business. Wow. So that is what? is happening. Mm -hmm. And then thereafter doing this, they will now surrender themselves to drinking, dancing, mm -hmm. and then they, there is specifically food now is, uh, okay. is being cooked. But the first thing must be this beans mixed together with the sorghum, mixed with the peanut. That is the, the thing specifically for a child when he is or she is being mm. named. Mm. And this, with us there, the two 
the two families give name. Now, uh, it will so happen that in practice, the name that will now stick, mm -hmm. maybe the mother will be interested to give to, to pronounce the call the child with the name of her uh, family. Mm -hmm. And of course, because the child is within that particular community of that husband, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, most of the time, the name of that family yeah, and is the one now being uh, and, uh, pronounced throughout and become the name of the child. But otherwise, these two names are all his or her name. Wow. With some, with, with, with us in uh, my side there. But in the western side, they also practice differently. Yes. Yeah. But it's, it's similar. Yeah, it is similar. similar they do the same thing. Okay. This is the function, this is entirely the business of women. Men are not During there. The naming yeah, the naming men are not there. Men only they come, come and around eat. to eat. <laughs> they only come to eat. But otherwise, the naming is not yeah. the vision of anybody. Wow! But it is women only that come wow. there to name the. Really, the child. that is so good to know because nowadays we just give birth to our children and then just move with them. We not knowing how the naming ceremony is being conducted. Um, let's move a little bit from marriage i mean um naming ceremony to marriages uh, we had uh, people uh, sending us a message a lot more than 10 people asking for the same question about how is the marriage is done in mundari well, if you like if if a guy sees a girl and feel like this is the the one i want to get married to what are the first thing that is being uh, done yeah <laughs> this is very interesting yeah <laughs> In fact, in uh, Mundari, for you first of all to, to know yourselves, mm. the boy and the girl, sometimes they meet during dance. Yes. Uh, they meet them sometimes in occasions. And sometimes they learn of uh, a certain girl somewhere whom they attract, they would want to get married to that particular girl. Mm. Sometimes they travel around, <laughs> around the area there when they meet, they always say, hey, may you give us some water? It's just because they don't know it, that it's just an introduction. And then, uh, can you give us like a tombak, yeah. tobacco? Mm. These are the beginning of oh. introduction to each other. Wow. Well, the girl will uh, respond definitely, come, uh, well, uh, I don't have, or she brings the water and so on. Mm. Then there you start, what's your name? My name is so and so. And this is the exercise that uh, they will start doing it. They will begin engaging each other, visiting each other, meeting. Uh, to some extent that, they, it takes them maybe a year. We just try know to, each other. Yes. to know each other. Mm. This time here, they want to know who are you. Mm. What is the background, family background, where maybe your relatives is to the, each other. It's a the boy, the, one doing the boy that. doing that, and the girl also does. It. Ah, because you, you never yeah. know. You yeah. may be talking to a relative, <laughs> which is not going to be accepted yes. by Mandari. Yes. So you, once you, you all of two of you clear yourself, almost you fall in love now. Mm. Then the girl will say, okay, now since you are interested, you come home, you come and introduce yourself to my family. Mm -hmm. The boy will definitely inform his family that I am interested to go to get married somewhere. Yeah. Then he will come there with a group of youth, about four, to that family. They will be welcome. Then the next day, they spend the night there. They will be asked, what, what are you here for? Mm. So definitely we say we are here. We are interested to get married to your girl around. They come and s the boys come and they yeah. sleep over. Yeah, they will sleep over. Three or four of them. Wow. They sleep over there. Then they will be asked, What are you here for? Uh, they will be now introduce their intention. Then thereafter, the girl will be asked to come inside. around. Do you know these people? Mm -hmm. Yes, I know them. Did you ask them to come around? Yes. Uh -huh. Who is among these people you want to get married to? Yeah. This gentleman, who is this girl? Who is among these girls you are interested? In? Now, after this, if they have accepted, 
you to get married to this girl, then you'll be served with some sticks, you know, broken down here like that this is our brand wealth, mm. about a number of cattle, they will say this is what we need mm -hmm. from you, and the goats also did much. Now the girls will come and present this, it is this the girl presented to the youth. Are they, they, they list from the parents? Yes. The parents, the, the family of the girl will give the, the sticks that represent the brand wealth to the girls. Say go and give it to your friends. Yeah. So that they're going to bring the the brown wealth. Mm -hmm. And by the time they are there, they are not eating, huh? From the first day. The first day, if they are there for three, four days before uh, they conclude their discussion, they don't eat. Only if there is milk. They drink. They will drink milk. Mm. And then they bring beer, with, uh, white beer there. Mm, quite. Quite. Yeah. And then the good part is that there are relatives around there, aunts are married there, sisters are married there. Mm. They are the people who bring food to these people yes. to eat. Yeah. But not the food in the some in there. If there is milk, yes. But if cattle are not around there, definitely the, the, the relatives are the ones to serve you with that food. Wow. Now, after this agreement, these young people will go home. We went like this and informed the people. These people need this number of cows. Mm. Usually, usually, how many cows? Now it differs. We it become so expensive in the past. It was during the grand grand fathers. Mm. You are twelve. You grew to fifteen, twenty six, thirty. Now you reserve with about sixty, seventy, eighty head <laughs> of cattle. Yeah. Now this is very expensive mm. exercise right now. Yeah. Uh, there, after, they will go and uh, get the cattle that they have available. Mm. They will bring them. They say, what about the rest? That we don't have it available. Yeah. Uh, but when are you going to bring it? They will say, at this particular time or this time. Mm. Then, then that will be an agreement. After final agreement, then a bull will then, after they bring in the cattle, the bull will now be slaughtered. For these 15 people who brought, maybe they have brought the cattle. Now the people from the village there will come now, that the celebration. Mm -hmm. There will be a dance, mm -hmm. Tolo. Oh, yes. So all the villages around will come now and dance, celebrate. So after the, 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 the negotiation is over, the girl goes immediately with the... No. After slaughtering the bull, the... The dance will be done mm -hmm. overnight and then finish. The rest of the people go home. Mm -hmm. There will be these young people who initiated the, the agenda, mm -hmm. they will be remaining behind, about five of them. They will be there about four to five days. Yes. And then thereafter, they go. The girl will remain in the house. In the house. Mm -hmm. For some time, she will be preparing herself to go. Of course, they will have to buy some clothes, mm. food stuff what to be prepared, she used to go and start. So after some time, then information will now go to the husband that we are bringing the girl. The girls of the area, of that particular village, mm -hmm. they will go to your house for no less than two weeks. What? They will be eating there all over. <laughs> and if they go during rainy season like this, they will... Uh, go and work in the houses in the area there wow. but they eat mm. in, the, in the house there. Wow. But, but the girls, the, the immediate sisters of this girl, they will not eat unless they are given some goats. Mm. Fatakashma. Fatakashma, yes. <laughs> so this one will be there. So they will be served with this. There they will be there, weeding, mm -hmm. doing a lot of uh, things over there. Wow. That's there after finishing that, they then return, they will be slaughtered the bull, because there are many. Yes. They will be slaughtered the bull, and then thereafter, they return. Wow. These are really very, very useful information. Now, when this girl is pregnant, mm. and she want to get, uh, she want to deliver, mm. with us, she will be accompanied back to her mother. Mm. The first 
delivery must be in the house of the mother. Yeah. Then and, this, the and then this is where the naming takes is place. done mm. in that particular place. But in the other sections, the girl delivers where she is. Mm. But the relatives are informed also mm. that your daughter is delivered and so we need to name. So that is what is happening. Wow, this is really a very great information. Talking about marriages, I'm sure by the time uh, everybody will be satisfied with the with, with, with the answers that you have given. So to wrap well, the questions up. Hold on. Uh -huh. uh, as now, as I said, the marriages that you know is standard uh, Yes. Yeah, True. Uh, brand wealth in terms because we marry with cattle, huh? Yeah. And gold and chief. Mm. We don't give uh, cash. Cash, no. Mm. There are only some occasions where you need only to get something, uh, but that is not uh, important. Wow. Now the cattle are varying from one section to another. Mm. But uh, over recent we have workshops that have been held from June up to July with the assistance of uh, IOM, mm. cultural uh, customary law. Mm. So we have decided as a community about six sections that we need to unify our marriage. Mm. Head of Ketol now we have decided that at least the maximum head of Ketol that you will have to get for marriage should be 30. Wow, the it's, maximum. it's coming down now. <laughs> down. Yeah. And yeah. then the goats we will say maximum might be 36 you be within this. Mm. Mm. So that is what we have decided so far. And uh, the document is going to be presented to the council assembly for approval so that it becomes legal. Yeah. So it is not yet out, but we are going to work hard to make sure this document is actually approved by the council, the assembly of the county. Yeah, this Eventually we will send it to the state Parliament says that it is uh, now compiled together with the rest of the cultural uh, activities of the rest of our uh, colleagues in the, mm. in the other counties. Mm. So this is what we are doing now. With marriages are now becoming very expensive. True. Uh, girls are not getting very timely. Mm. Boys are not getting very timely. So you get a group of people piling up. And the funny part with the Mondari, they want to get married. The girls are to be married almost, uh, start 15 onward up to the 20th. The moment you go up to the 25, you will be treated like an old lady. <laughs> you will hardly get uh, <laughs> young <True>. people yeah. <laughs> coming to approach you. Mm. So maybe people like us, the old people, uh, <laughs> these are the people who, <laughs> you, see, you can see. See, this is the funny part. Yeah. Yeah, the, with the youth. Yeah, the young, they want to get married as early as possible. True. But we are recommending that a girl must be married at 18 and above. Right, we that's are not, true. We are not entertaining this issue of 15, 16, 17, mm. no. Mm. Although the, the young people would want it, but we as elders and even some of the youth now, yeah. ladies and uh, this youth, they are accepting, I think, these are... Uh, mm. Could I still childish? If they get married, yeah. they, they will not be able to manage Go themselves. <laughs> so, so this is the practice now. Oh wow! Yeah, this is really something that is very good that is being done. Mm -hmm. In that way, it will be able to to for someone to work hard, knowing that uh, this is the number of kettles that I want to. So it will be like I have a target. Which mm -hmm. is good instead of just you go, this give you different fries, this is different. So mm -hmm. it's really something that will be very helpful for, for the Mundari people. And I wish other communities will also sit down and consider that. Um, going to the last question of the day, what are some of the cultural dances in the Mundari? Though you have mentioned a few of them, mm -hmm. but we would just want to know what are some of it and um, what are uh, like some of the occasions that they've been performed in? Yeah, we have a number of them. We have this period, which is always uh, done in many cases at the yeah. end of the year. Mm -hmm. And then we have Polo, which is actually a general one. Anytime monthly people mm -hmm. play it. And then we have Diki. Diki is time of prayers, especially when uh, there is a dead person, the final prayers. Mm -hmm. This one is always played there. 
we have guele. We have also guele. That one is plate. And then we have uh, mercury. This is mainly, in many cases, uh, ladies, you know, mm. initiated mm. and they come there. And then uh, loyuma. Wow. We have also loyuma in the uh, western side of the Mundari people. Mm. And then the, that is some of the things that we, we, we pronounce. What are some of the, of, of the dressing during all this ah, the culture? The dresses are different. There are three groups, of course. The youth, that they say, the youth, which include the girls and the boys. Mm. They have dresses, they dress like the way you put it, the, the ladies. Yeah. They have them, and then the youth also, they have a special dress, they have them uh, like, uh, they have the, the underwear, mm. and then uh, what they do, the youth from the kettle camp, they dye their hair with this, yeah. uh, the with this uh, urine of the, the kettle. I they actually like them, it. They turn, they turn to be brown. Mm. So this is the one, and they smell themselves with these ashes. They become white mm. in the body. They have these uh, ostrich uh, feathers. Mm. And then they have some... Uh, Metals, they call them jagajin, the men do it. This is the youth, uh, the women dress lao, mm. perda, the nura, and the t-shirts these days, mm. they have it. Wow. Then for the women, the, the, the middle women, those who have delivered one, two, three, mm. they have also a special dress. They have a very long the nura, mm. but the ladies, they put a very short one, the, the young girls. Mm. They have this one a different dress. Then for the old elderly women, they have this uh, goat skin, they dress it mm. in front and behind. Yeah. So with beads, they have this one. So the men also, they have different uh, way of dress. Mm. The men, of course, they go with the stick and they wear something called ku'u, cool. yeah. and then tororo, all these ones, they have them wow. when they are dancing. And, and, and apart from the drums during the traditional dance, what are some of the, 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 the instruments played? Uh, this is uh, the tore, mm -hmm. kicking, this one, and then there is a stick being beaten, mm. and then the two, two drums, the big one and the small ones, mm -hmm. they are the ones that are actually being uh, beaten. Yeah to make these people dance. Wow. The, the, the good part or the, the funny part is that the Mondari, every section has got its own songs. Ah. Every clan has got its own songs. Wow. The girls also, we have very good uh, singers. Mm. Girls and the men, they have them. And in many cases, this one are Seasonal. It takes maybe one and a half years, mm -hmm. and then it is left, and then they come up with new songs. With new songs, they compose and you, songs. You, this village here cannot sing during dance. They cannot sing the songs of this of that particular community. You know? Wow. Yeah, these are songs that are actually uh, seasonal, and uh, it is particular that particular village. Wow. One of one of the special things that we know about the Mundari people is the wrestling. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? The we wrestling, we have a number of youth yeah. in the villages, almost in every village. Mm. Uh, very strong guys. Yeah. And uh, in many cases, you hear that that gentleman is a very the strong, strong that one. I just write a note or send some people, you say, on such a day I want to come. And, and play with you. Wow. And then the, the whole people go. If it is somebody from Karakeka, you want to go to Muni. All the entire communities, all this one, mm -hmm. will all go there to restaurant. Wow. It is a very popular Yes, it's very exercise popular. Exercise right now. Wow. Very popular. Now, uh, we have got this uh, wrestling uh, association. Mm -hmm. They are now organizing in such a way that they play it always in Terkeka town, mm. so that mm. uh, it doesn't bring any conflict. Yes. 
Yes. But uh, in the cattle camp, in the villages, they are doing it's it. It's just like an activity, yeah. a game. And uh, as for now, we, we are uh, having a, a relationship with the Dinka Bor. We play mm. together, we wrestle together, and the people in lakes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it threw out that uh, we have got very strong people in the central Equatoria. Yeah, right. Who actually proved to be strong. <laughs> and I want to be saying, we are the strongest. Let me say we we are strongest in in South Sudan. No doubt about we, that. We, we, I'm proud of my young people. True. Yeah, but uh, True. the other people, of course, they also want to say, hey, no. Yeah. They, so this is what they're doing. But yeah, we have a very young people who, when they start, up to now, maybe ago, they have thrown down about 15 to 16 people. He has not been really thrown down. Wow. Yeah. So wow. you can see. The, the, the foreign, for instance, in the Mundari area, we have got about two, three, five people who are so strong. Mm. They are not thrown down with any other people. And so, the Dinka board, in many cases, they all say, hey, we want to play with these guys. Mm. And they all come and uh, we play together. Yes, so what so, is the award for the winner? Oh, there is nothing. I think there is no award. <laughs> the, just the name. Oh, yeah, the, the, the name. The name. Champions. The, you, you are known <laughs> everywhere. But of course, if they give them something, yes. they get a very little token. Yeah. They are given. Yes. But the name is you, what they enjoy. Mm, they mm. enjoy it so much. Wow. Thank you so much for yeah, coming up? to our program. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are so excited that he actually came and he gave us more and more information about uh, um, the Mundari people. So now, before you go, what is your last message? to the people of South Sudan? Uh, my message, as far as I'm concerned, mm. we need to come together. Our culture should be documented. Mm. We should respect them. True. And uh, as we respect them, we need to reduce marriage. Mm. Marriages are becoming so expensive. And uh, it creates a lot of uh, inconvenience among the families. Mm. So I'm um, the opinion that uh, we as South Sudanese, we should try to reconsider certain cultural activities or norms which we are sticking on. Mm. We should try to accept the change. Yeah. And uh, civic education, I think, very important. That should be a civic education in the South Sudan. Mm -hmm. For instance, this uh, organization of yours, mm -hmm. if you could even bring, say, let me begin with Central Equator. Mm -hmm. If we bring these communities together, the youth especially, mm -hmm. talk to them. Not youth men, but youth and girls. Together, talk to them like this and see how they react to each other. Mm -hmm. Bring them one day together. Mm -hmm. I think that would be good. But it is not also enough mm. to talk to an elder person like me, because some of us are uh, grown up in the town. Yeah. They may not uh, be defecting the real situation on the ground. Mm. So I would be encouraging you to go down to the villages to get some elder people down there who will give you the real picture of the culture of that particular community. Mm. And we want them to be documented, sure. because the traditional practice which are not uh, documented, tend to be influenced and even be outweighed by new cultures. Mm. You, you get uh, people, uh, now there are children who, I, I'm sure, I, I hope you know very, very well. Not very well. See? <laughs> <laughs> so we need <laughs> to know their cultures. Yeah. And we need the, the, the language to be, you know, mm. to be taught. We, mm. we need to know. We don't want our culture to disappear. Mm. Sometimes we forgot our languages. Yeah. Like the Mundari, we are uh, contaminated with some cultures from the eight communities that yeah, we are just mentioned. Border. Yeah. You see? Mm. So the people in the border, they tend to, to be influenced by those cultures. Yeah. And also, they influence them. Yeah. In you see, that's the, the situation. Mm. So we need to be together as a South Sudanese. Yeah. We need to work together and love ourselves. Okay. Yeah.
wow well done we could not be happier than this <laughs> we are very satisfied with whatever questions that we have asked we're so glad that you came to our show thank you very much and we're looking forward to seeing you again in the program thank you guys for staying tuned and see you again next week same time bye bye thank you